hello guys welcome to this channel and uh, today we're gonna check on why i feel like uh, our mount kenya people they missed the point in 2022 well to my analysis that uh, these people since independence there was some problem between oginga odinga and jomo kenyatta and so there is a place I read some history about uh, Jomo Kenyatta went to his Ichaweri home and then uh, they drank blood, I think human blood, and uh, <clears throat> they saw that never ever will Mount Kenya people support people from the lake. They saw and uh, the parents who were there at that time, they passed that information to their offsprings this that gen, next generation they pass to their children like that and then up to now they're still passing the same messages to the small to the younger generations in that community and uh, when the elections came in 2022 these people because they have been indoctrinated since their childhood they came up with uh, they decided that someone who butchered their people in the churches in 2007 was their choice they, he was their choice you understand and then uh, this person turned out to be william samoy ruto they did not know that uh, this guy and the other guy who was his biggest competitor that is Raila Amolo Odinga. These guys are buddies and you cannot separate them. It is evident from 2007. The videos are still there. You can go and watch them. Whatever these guys were, they are like this. They are together. They do not know that. So they say that they are choosing the government for themselves but late, little did they know that these guys are the birds of the same feather now you see the same two guys the duo that was there in 2007 that almost destabilized the country in 2007 is back to power they are in full control now Raila Odinga and William Ruto this is the same the only thing that the elites the Mount Kenya elites so and they did not want Raila to join Ruto anywhere but it has already happened they prevented Raila not to join Ruto or Ruto to work with Raila in 2022 elections because it will mean that the Mount Kenya community will never see light again in the next close to 100 years they will never be the same again since this duo is in the, at the helm of power the duo that i'm talking about is william samoy ruto and raila odinga these people are lethal lethal in the sense that when they unite or when they come to work together these people you cannot win any war against them you cannot the luo community when they work together with the kalenjin community and the rest of kenya seems to fall to follow them during election like if raila works with ruto he will get ruto will get not votes not less than eight million in this sense the rift valley region will vote for ruto nyanza and the larger western region that is with the mulembe nation they will still vote for ruto the Costarians and the Nothanas will still vote for Ruto. That's what we need. What I'm trying to say that the Mount Kenya elites saw this thing, but the Mount Kenya people did not see it. Understand? So they tried their best to make sure that Raila Odinga and William Ruto are not mixing anywhere closer. That's why Uhuru kept Raila very busy. You understand so they will and also they are they would rather have uh, ruto uh, they wanted raila to take it because he was too old 
and they knew he would run to 2027 and he will no longer run again as president. So they knew if Raila takes it, the city will have just gone to a law for five years and then it will be back to the Mount Kenya region. You understand? So their calculation was top notch. But they knew if Ruto and Raila can becomes together as two, they will uh, make sure that the Mount Kenya region is lost completely in economic wise. Because now we see a lot of their jobs have been closed down. A lot of businesses now they are owned by the Somali community and uh, we are having a lot of problems. So the Mount Kenya would rather are crying to Raila. They were crying that Raila should help them out sit William Ruto of whom they voted. They voted not knowing that this kind of person is a Raila buddy for life. If you go to the videos of 20, 2000, 20, 2007, you find out that in this country, no one has ever fought for Raila Odinga like William Ruto has ever done. Their friendship is something else. And I'm here to educate my Mount Kenya people because uh, during voting, they vote with emotions. They vote with the, on a tribal basis. They vote not knowing what they are doing. Okay? So we need to wake up and vote during election. Do not go and elect a leader saying that I'm voting to remove the dynasties. I am voting to punish Uhuru. I am voting to send Raila to Bondo. That's how they voted in 2022. And that's where we are right now. That's why we are where we are right now. The economy is crumbling. The education system is not working. The health sector is corrupt. Everything is not, everything is not just right in this country. Because the Mount Kenya people thought they were sending Baba to Bondo. And they have found out that the same, same man that was supposed to go to Bondo is now like the most powerful man in the government that they elected. That they were voting to make sure that he is out completely. And so for me, my opinion is that um, the rejoining of the duo that Raila Odinga and Ruto are back together means one thing. It means that there is no day in the near future that there will be another president from Mount Kenya region. That is what people should know right now. There is no day. Maybe after 100 years from now. Because uh, the only the unity of Raila Odinga and William Ruto means one thing also. That Mount Kenya region will be isolated from the rest of Kenya because these people, they, uh, for me, where how I am not judging how I view their voting pattern shows that they love themselves, they want everything for themselves, and they do not care about anyone else that is how they are they do not care they just want everything for themselves if everything is working their way or they that is it they do not care that someone in Trukana doesn't have a road they do not care that someone in Mandera needs a road they just want everything to be at their disposal not at anyone else place so they will remain because isolated because the people have learned that these people are too selfish they elected the wrong government that has now crumbled the economy. Because this government, if they wanted to work, they would have worked. But you see, what they are doing is that every time they have been crying, ah, I have, I have, I inherited a depleted economy. I did not find something. There's no money. And we see them with big watches. We see them with big cars. We see them buying choppers. Which economy is the is, is, did you find when you tell us that you find you found an economy without money? You should hire professionals to help you fix the, the country. 
but he went to hire people like Aisha Jumo. You understand? So William Ruto wanted to finish the Mount Kenya region completely and he has succeeded because there is a day Uhuru made some port in Naivasha, it was called a dry port, whereby the containers would come from the port through SGR to Naivasha. Then that means that trucks from the Republic of Congo, trucks from Rwanda, trucks from Burundi, trucks from Uganda, they would come up to Naivasha and pick these consignments. Okay? What that means is that the people who are living in Nakuru County, in Naivasha, these people would have had an opportunity to invest in that area, in hospitality, in medical sector, in whatever sector you can say, because they will be, the economy will be booming in that area because there are a lot of trucks and visitors who will be flocking to that area. Ruto, when he was sworn in, it did not take him even more than two days. He will, he changed that thing that Uhuru had put for his people there because he knew the economic impact that it would have on the Kikuyu community. That is a strategic man because he knew if these people are empowered economically, they will disturb him <coughs> because of their selfish nature. He also knows that these people cannot vote for him. They just voted for him because of the way they hate the Luo community. That's why they decided that they should vote for this guy. Okay? And so you can let me know in the comments below whatever you think about this video. If I'm saying the wrong things or the right things. But that is my opinion. I believe if this duo is given a chance to work together the way they have aligned themselves, I see change in this country. Because where Baba is, there is always change. Baba worked with Mwai Kibake from 2007 to 2012. We saw a lot of roads coming up. We saw a lot of stuff. That was when the Kenyan economy was revamped because Baba sees farm. It's not only about Mwai Kibaki. When Baba joined Uhuru, Uhuru was with William Ruto. They were stealing a lot of money. They were looting this country to the core. When Baba came, he told him, no, look, you have to work also so that you can leave your legacy. Uhuru worked for the last four years of his term and we saw changes. We saw a lot of roads, we saw a lot of stuff. In fact, Uhuru Kenyatta is the only president who has ever built a lot of roads in the country, not Mwaki Baki. Go back to the statistics. So, Raila teamed up with Uhuru four years towards the end of his term. Now you see, the same Raila has teamed up with his buddy, his lifetime buddy, William Ruto. Two years down the line. It means that he has eight years to work with Ruto. And believe me not, this country is going to change because uh, these people are strategic and they will work for this country. I believe that. Let me tell you something else. The, the duo, the Gachagua and Ruto duo, was not working because they have been complaining all day, day in, day out. They are complaining, no money, no what, what. They are crying like crybabies. Okay. The people who destabilized Ruto's government is that he appointed wrong ministers in the ministries and he chose the wrong people to lead the parliament. People like Kimani Ichungwa who are from the Mount Kenya region, they are full of hate in their hearts. People like Kimani Kuria, they do not know any other community. They want everything best for them, for their community and they do not 
want any other tribe or any other region to benefit from this government. But remember, William Ruto and Rigathi Gachagua are the leaders of the Republic of Kenya, not of the Mount Kenya region. And Kenya is not Mount Kenya region. And so we need the people who have messed up the president are people the likes of Kimani Chungo. If Ruto can discard them from the parliament, it can be okay. Kimani Korea, Kimani Ichungwa, this kind of people, Tindi Nyoro, they should be nowhere near anything that decision making tables. They should not be there. Let them go back to their constituencies and work for their people. Okay? So for me, I believe Raila and Ruto are going to transform this country because we have seen the history of where Ruto, Raila has worked with the sitting president and things changed and we saw changes, we saw good things, okay? So let us wait and see because you now we have for Kibaki, we had only five years. Raila had only five years and he worked with Kibaki and we saw changes. With the Uri, he worked like four to five years. We saw changes. Now with the Ruto, he's going to work for eight years. There will be tremendous change and Kenya is going to become the Singapore of Africa. I can tell you here right now that William Ruto will get more than 8 million votes in 2027. The Nyanza votes are in his basket. The Western votes, Western Kenya votes are in his basket. Rift Valley votes are in his basket. Cost votes are in his basket. Stephen Kalonzo Musyoka will be the runner up to the 2027 election and he will only garner votes from the Ukambani and the Gema community. If I may ask, now the Gema community has told us that they are going to support Kalonzo to the last man. Where have they been in where Kalonzo was? They would have supported him. Kalonzo was in Azimio. They would have voted for Azimio if they loved him. That brings me back to, the, to my point, to my opinion. These people are full of hate. They are full of themselves. They do not want any other people to shine. Okay? So that is my take. If you are new to this channel kindly subscribe as you are watching this video just click the subscription button and hit the notification bell and remember we are all kenyans and we should speak the facts the way they are we need to work together as communities we do not need to be isolated our mount kenya brothers please remove those things from your heads and work together with other kenyans this is Kenya and everything has an end. You have ruled for enough and uh, William Ruto came in to make sure that there is no same games that are being played since independence. This is my message and uh, see you in our next video.